Hey everybody, today is the tutorial for my Remagic video. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, here's a quick clip of the performance. So yeah, that was the performance. Now, how it's done is, you're gonna need a few things. Uh, obviously, a ring, so get a ring. Um, you're going to need a shirt with pockets in it. If you have an over button up shirt uh, that's got button pockets like this, that the pockets button, um, you're going to want to unbutton those and just like this one here, you're going to just take the flap and put it right inside the pocket just like that and wear them just like that. Uh, if your shirt has one pocket, obviously just do it to the one, but uh, if it's got two, do it to both. Um, so it's like that. Now, I usually perform in this shirt. I'm not going to use this for the tutorial though because I use this black shirt and the performance is the one I'm going to use right now. Um, if you just have a shirt with an open pocket in it, you can use that. You're also going to need a pair of sunglasses. These are going to be for some misdirection later on, but I'm going to go ahead and put those on. Um, I'm going to show you a quick back view of the handling, but first I'm going to show you just kind of an open performance of it, uh, it goes like, you take the ring, and what I do is the pinky pull off, you just take it and just like that. Uh, real quick how that's done is, you are wearing the ring, pull it up to about half your finger, and you're kind of letting your finger just go limp, like don't keep it straight, just kind of let it go limp, and you just make a forward motion as you just, you're just pulling the ring off is all you're doing, but you just... With this one, it's kind of like the uh, hands are quicker than the eyes, right? You just practice, and you kind of pull your hand back as you let the ring slide off, but also go forward with your hand. Uh, you can practice it. I'm not going to go too full in depth with that, but the actual vanish, take your ring, and all I did was put it on my finger like that, take it, and just like that. It's vanished. Now it actually ends up in your pocket. But here is a basic back view of what I just did. Here's the back view of it. Okay, so I start off with the pinky thing. I pull it off my pinky like that. And then I show it to the spectator. Now this is what's happening behind my hands. I'll do one more tutorial in front. But you show your uh, ring. You come back like this. You're going to point your finger out. And then come back. Now what's happening is with this thumb, I'm just pressing it flat, so now the ring is in this position. And then you push inside the ring, and the ring will go around your thumb. Now you want to hold your hand like you're still holding a ring in this space here, but in reality it's around your thumb. So you act like you're putting the ring on, and in reality it's just on your thumb. And you give it a little tight, and you don't want to struggle put the ring on or anything. You just want to let it go on nicely and then give it a little fit at the end. And then your hand's going to go up as you start rubbing the ring. Let your thumb slide over here, and then you want to pinch the ring just like that. So now the ring should be in this position here uh, between your first and thumb, just like that. So again, it's putting it on like that, and then you just want to... Just rub the ring at the same time dropping it off right there. So you're rubbing as you rub, you pull away like that. Now you want to keep your eyes over here because if the spectators watch, well you'll be wearing sunglasses actually, but if you're going to perform with a hat, no sunglasses, then let your eyes watch over here because they're going to watch your eyes and if you believe it's over here, they're going to believe it's over here. Don't be looking over here. Um, so you pull away over here. As you're doing that, you're just going to squeeze the ring in between your thumb and first finger, getting it into a clip like that so you can show your hand empty. Um, so that's to this point of the back view. I'm going to go swing around front again really quickly. Just like this. So you're in the clip. Um, and you're pushing it around your thumb. You fake put the ring on as you come up just like this. Notice how fast that got into that position. You want it to be, 
you put it on, you don't want to sit there and struggle getting it into that position. You just want to, and then just rub a little bit, pull it off, and if I were wearing a hat, I would, no sunglasses, I would bring my attention over here as I get it into the clip over here. If you're wearing sunglasses, they can't really follow your eyes, but they can follow your head at the same time. So, and now you want to pay attention over here. The ring is in clip behind my hand. What happens at this point is I let the ring fall into my pocket as I come up to just fix my sunglasses a little bit. It kind of gives you a reason to stop by the pocket and just go up. If you're wearing a hat, you can stop and just fix your hat a little bit. Either one's fine. So again, when it's right here, your hand will be like that. You pull away, you're paying attention over here. You're just gonna come up in the clip like that. And when you're here, your hand needs to be kind of underneath the pocket. So as you come up, you can drop it into the pocket as you come up to fix your glasses, just like that. So it's in, and you come up, drop it in, and that's when you're going to fix your glasses, just like that, or if you're wearing a hat. So, it's in clip, you come up, and you can show your hands completely empty, just like that. Uh, so yeah, that's the trick right there, that's how it's done. I'm usually, you know, 90% of the time wearing a ring when I go out, just in case I want to perform this. This is my number one go-to ring magic piece. Uh, but yeah. That's the uh, tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you will all come back for the next video. New video will be up on Monday, this coming Monday. Uh, but yeah, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you hopefully in the next video.